What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Just wanted to show you a quick look at the tank, the 150 gallon uh, with the gel filter on so you can kind of see how the corals are looking like this. This is my water change that I'm doing here. Still doing water changes, trying to get everything right. Still having problems, but let's go ahead and take a look at the tank. You can see for yourself. Let's do the top down view right here and let's go ahead and talk about the lights real quick. For those of you don't who do not know, wondering what kind of lights I'm using. I'm using the Reef Breeders Photon 50. You can check those out in the link below. But one thing that I like about these lights is obviously they grow coral. And second, that light pattern. That light pattern right there is pretty unique. Looks pretty sweet. Uh, and it's different clusters. So it has a good spread right there. I do like the way they look. Performance has been great. And the best part about it is that it has a single plug for this whole entire light fixture. Um, that's not to say that I wouldn't try some radions later down the road or, you know, some different type of lighting. But right now, these guys uh, have been doing really good on my tank. So let's take a look at the coral itself. Um, I have a purple money cap in the background, back left, and it's doing really good. It's growing really well. Although I am having some problems, I'm not having a problem with this one right here. Uh, it is popping really good. Lots of deep purples and pinks and greens, and uh, it's been growing really good. I haven't had any problem, knock on wood, and hopefully I don't get any problems because this guy is pretty awesome and re resilient. And if you get a frag of that from me, uh, it's probably going to last you really, really long time because of the fact that my tank has been going through some shocks. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about these pallies right here. Forgot the name of them. Uh, but the funny thing is that they weren't doing good because they were um, not in the direct light. They were kind of being shaded and they got their color back really good. Um, I had a whole bunch of rastas right there on the right hand corner and those asterinas have started to eat a lot of pallies and zoas some of them i couldn't save and some of them i'm gonna have to get later on again uh, but the thing is i still have a harlequin shrimp in here i have two harlequin shrimps you can see them at night and hopefully they they're uh, doing well i just saw them the other day I had a hard time with the harlequin shrimp, so I'm going to definitely make sure that they're doing okay in my tank. Uh, I introduced them to my tank because of those Asterina starfish. And hopefully they they go ahead and eat those nuisance pests because I love my zoas. And my zoas have definitely probably been affected by how many Asterinas. Once you start seeing them on your glass, uh, it's over because usually they're pretty hidden. When they're on the glass, that means you have a whole bunch of them in your tank. You definitely need some uh, Asterina. Or should I say, you definitely need a Harlequin shrimp, something to go ahead and pluck them out and uh, kill them. Let's take a look at these anemones, though. Uh, they're looking like they're on fire right there. And this is just a regular rose bubble tip anemone. It looks like a lemon drop by the color right here. Just, I'm not doing any special editing. I just have a regular gel filter on here and uh, they look pretty sweet i'm gonna bust out the aquamax blue flashlight that i have and we'll go ahead and take a better look at them but i'm gonna zoom in as best as i can with my camera so you can go ahead and check them out you can see the bubble tips on the end and uh, they look great that's the only thing that's saving them right now for my tank because they are a pain in the butt once they start moving and stretching they start touching the sticks they start touching corals and they start stinging the crap out of everything. Right there, my black clownfish is doing great. Uh, I used to have a pair of them, but due to my uh, mistake and laziness, I killed a lot of my fish. Um, and it still sucks to this day. Uh, wasn't too long ago, but definitely my fault. And still sad that I missed out on my... Uh, all those fish that I had I would have had a pair of uh, black clownfish I still really haven't added any fish in this tank I, I did add a powder blue 
Later on, it did do good. Then, you know what? It got ick or something. Disappeared and died in my tank. I haven't added any more fish since then. Um, some fish that I would consider to add are some antheas. I think antheas are pretty sweet. Some purple or pink kind would be great. Um, and it would add a lot of splash to this tank. But for right now, I'm just going to take it easy. 2019, I'll go ahead and hit it hard with a little bit more fish. Maybe not overdo it, but definitely add maybe another tang um, and some more antheas. The purple tang that I have is doing good. It's also one of my most expensive fish. I picked it up at my LFS Sea Creatures. Um, they're still around and uh, it's doing well. You can check out this clown right here is in heaven, surrounded by anemones on the top, the bottom, and way in the back of the tank, there's some anemones. But I'm gonna go ahead. The other day I did a video of the Melanaris rat sleeping. I called it Do Fish Sleep. And uh, sometimes when you, you gotta look real good and you'll see my clownfish right here slain still. And I'm like wondering also if he's dead, but then he'll just go ahead and flick around his tail a little bit, start moving again. So definitely he has, enough room for another clown if I find another clown I might go ahead and add him I do want to add some clownfish to the innovative marine 25 gallon lagoon tank and I think that'd be pretty sweet I wouldn't necessarily want to move uh, an enemy in the lagoon due to the fact that the lagoon is not that big and these anemones spread open pretty wide not only that they can just spread out and start touching corals and start stinging everything and no thank you. I am going to get my flashlight right here so we can see a little bit more better color and you can check out and enjoy that. I have way too many anemones in this tank. I've had even more before but I gave a few of those away already in the past. They just seem to split in this tank and grow. If I was a farmer, coral farmer, That'd be a good thing because I would have lots of retail space for them. I could propagate them and things like that. But for now, they're just in my tank. Uh, I would probably sell them if it was worth it. But uh, right now, we'll see what I end up doing later on. I do love the color of them. You can check it out. I do have the blue flashlight on them right now. And you can see the deep oranges. The deep greens, sometimes they throw these crazy pinks. Um, and you know what? I haven't fed them in a while. Uh, once I feed them some krill, they turn really, really pink on me and they look even more sweet. So let's go ahead and cut this video right here. We'll talk more later on. You guys have a good one. Take care. Make sure you subscribe.